Now, working on these Yardtel computers, there have been a lot of, uh, yeah, I pretty much I went through them all, and if they were working or what the stats were or anything, if I could tell all that stuff, I went ahead and wrote it down on paper and just kind of taped it to it quickly. Oh, yeah, there's more. There's still some over here, and then, of course, I've got one on my workbench that I'm trying to get working that is similar to this with DDR3 memory, but uh, it actually shows some promise because it worked without much of a problem. Uh, when it booted into BIOS, which was good, and then I was able to go ahead and make some changes. We're taking the old, uh, I believe it's 5800, E5800 Pentium out, and we're swapping it with a Q9550. So after some trial and tribulation and moving stuff around and swapping out memory and putting in, you can't see it now, maybe I'll uh, show you a before shot or something like that. There's a hard drive out, up underneath there, 500 gig HDD. Uh, I'm still leaving the DVD in here. I think it's a DVD. It might be a CD writer. I don't know. I'll look. Uh, 250 watt, 255 watt power supply. Not, uh, not the sturdiest animal in the world. No graphics card. We're just bare bones, but we have got it to turn on. We have got it to post. We have got it to come up. And actually, uh, yeah, that, that hard drive does have windows on it. So we actually have something to look at. Uh, yeah, so next, all we have to do is just kind of button this thing back up, maybe run Cinebench or something to see what it looks like, and, and go from there. Now, in lieu of, of just testing this thing without any graphics card, I thought, okay, I've got a couple of graphics cards that might work, even though this is a low-profile, thin-type box. Uh, the RX 6400 is one of those examples. doesn't take up a lot of power, and it does fit into that box. Now, the limitation is this video card is supposed to be a PCIe 4 uh, video card, and this is, at best, PCIe 3. I think it might even be 2. Uh, I'll, I'll, if I can verify that, I'll go ahead and put it down here. I don't remember which one it is. Uh, in any case, I thought, all right, we'll go ahead and run a couple of tests. And what spurred that on was the actual performance that I was getting when I was running Cinebench. Now, it's way down at the bottom of the stack, but still, uh, it was getting up 1,600 points. And I thought, you know, that's not the worst I've ever seen. And that's not the worst I've seen in, I don't want to say modern CPUs, but it's not the worst I've seen in, in say, pre builds or something like that. And I thought it might be a decent candidate with this new 4-core, four 4-thread four Q9550 uh, to go ahead and slap the RX 6400 in it. I, I wasn't unimpressed. Uh, it, it did not do great. This is not a gaming computer, although it does give me some pause. It, it does make me think, okay, what can it do? And I've actually got an, RX, um, an RTX 3050 on order that should be here in a couple days. We'll put this in a bigger box, probably the box that's sitting right there, if I can swap things around a little bit. Uh, I've got... Yeah, I'd, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I was getting, I believe it was 1080p low that I was uh, testing uh, things like Shadow of the Tomb Raider and all that just to kind of see what was going on with it. And I was getting about 24, 25 frames per second. It wasn't too bad, but when I did try to step it up to something a little bit better, like medium, I was getting far worse and I was missing some textures. So, uh, yeah, it, it, we're, we're probably talking 1080p low, 900p low. And I think it would be okay. It's not going to be great. It's not going to be a, a, a great gaming machine at all. But it might be able to hold its own. And for what it is, it might be pretty, pretty good. Now, I do remember when I ran tests on the Q6600 quite a while back with DDR2 memory. And I've still got some of those boxes over there that, you know, that they will probably be a good match to try that experiment again. Uh, I was getting okay results when I was looking at lower resolution, say 900p or 720p, uh, especially in some games like Dirt 5 and all that. I'm testing different games. Obviously, this isn't going to work out too well when I try to test something like Cyberpunk, but some of these older titles, maybe Shadow of the Tomb Raider or whatever, might end up doing okay. And who knows? I mean, we might be able to we might be able to run some newer titles when I get the 3050 in there. I don't know. I, I definitely know that this will not work with the ARC A380 because it requires resizable bar. This PC does not have it. It's not an option, not even thought of at that time. So it's just not, it's not something that's going to work. But this experiment ended up being okay. The PC was free. The, uh, the CPU cost me like 13 or 14 bucks. I had the two sticks of DDR4, uh, DDR3 
four gig on hand, so that didn't cost me anything. Uh, well, I, I take it back. The PC, the whole lot of them, there's like 12 or 13 of them, cost me 10 bucks. So all in all, we're, we're into this thing for under $25, and it's, it's a decent little computer. I mean, it's not going to... It's not going to scramble your eggs every morning, but it might help you make a cup of coffee. I don't know. I, I do have, right now as it stands, that HDD is going to stay in there. If I was going to do some more upgrading or thought maybe I would pass this, this uh, computer on to somebody or, you know, or, or anything like that, maybe I would put a, uh, an SSD in it. I still might if I find one cheap, maybe a 256 or something. But the hard drive or the drive that I have all my games on, is an SSD and it's uh, it's you know it it should work fine I mean it's it's gonna load the games fine as long as there's enough memory and as long as the CPU can handle that um, as far as trying to the load times for the games it should be an issue especially not using USB 3 so with this this experiment with this machine is probably not over but I might not do anything with it on the channel until I get the other one with DDR2 in the Q6600. But then again, I might try swapping back and forth between the 6600 and the 9550 to see what the differences in that are. I don't know, maybe. It sounds like, yeah, it could be fun. Uh, of course, I would like to get more than one computer with DDR3 working. I did have it one time and it just quit. I, but I've ordered I've ordered three volt batteries to, uh, you know, the BIOS and all. I'm finding problems with power supplies. I'm finding problems um, with memory, I'm finding problems with you know, other things. We're going to see if we can't make a couple of decent computers out of this. And who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe it'll be worth saving. It, it's a decent project, but the, part of the thing is, that all happened this summer. I got those this summer, and I'm just now getting to the point where I'm getting some of these working and can make videos out of them that actually mean something. So, uh, yeah, it's these are not a total loss. Now, these are old, old computers. These are from like 2008 to 2010. These are not... Uh, any, these are not anywhere near recent. We're, we're talking pretty pretty darn old. Um, but, you know what? They still work. You can still put Windows 10 on them. They're not going to be supported for much longer with Windows 10. We know that. But, uh, yeah, for the time being, yeah, it's not too bad. And they will, you know, they'll get on the Internet. They will check your email. They'll do whatever. So we just have to see if they can be salvaged any other way. Who knows? Maybe they, maybe they can. Uh, but in any case, it's, it's fun to kind of tinker with and play with. Uh, yes, at times it's been frustrating, but the end result when you see it come up into Windows and you run a test and it actually turns out decent, better than 9% of all computers, I'm like, what are the 8% that are bad look like? <laughs> <You know? laughs> so we'll, we'll see if, when we put a different video card if that changes at all. But uh, for the time being, this is, uh, this is working out. At least we got something to post. At least we got something to, to load into Windows. I have not even touched that stack of 80 gig hard drives that I also got with all these PCs. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I did put a video on the microphone that I got at the same yard sale. That's actually on that Paul Guy Gaming. So if you want to see what that, I'll go ahead and, and link that here. And I'll put, there should be a tag like right there or something. Just in case. I mean, I'm going to put some of those related like the uh, the Stream Deck, um, the Anything that has to do with streaming or gaming or whatever, I'll stick on there. That's where the highlights of No Man's Sky go when I do those videos from my, my streams on the Purple channel. Um, and I've neglected that channel horribly. Uh, I need to get back into that. So, yeah, that is what it is. This uh, Optiplex 380 with a Q9550 is, uh, yeah, turning out pretty decent. And it should be something to, to experiment with and play with and, and have some more fun with. So if you found this at all entertaining or learned anything i'm sorry i didn't show pictures or a video of me actually swapping out the cpu i thought i had that video i could not find it when i went back through and that will teach me to uh, abandon a project for five or six weeks and have two hurricanes and a patio and all that other stuff go on and then try to come back and, and do it but I, I i didn't have that footage somewhere so uh, i thought i did i did not i apologize in any case, if you learned anything or got anything out of the video or just you know feel sorry for me and want to throw a like on the video, please do that. If you're not already subscribed, please do. Thanks again for, for us going over 1,400. Uh, it's, it's very humbling to know that, that there are 1,400 people out there that 
found my found my opinion and my videos um, entertaining enough to, to click a button and come back for more. So thank you for that. If you don't do anything else, like click, uh, su like, subscribe, check out any of the other socials or anything like that, please do me at least one favor, and that's be good to each other. Smile, wave, hold the door open. This is really, really a time when we probably really need it, right? So uh, be good to each other, take care of each other. And uh, until next time, when I get myself into something I got no business getting into, RTX 3050 is on the way. That Z440 sitting right here behind me. Um, I've got a couple other things I'm upgrading with that. And when I finish that, that will be a different video. So, yeah, there's some things coming. So, until that time, um, that's all I got. So, I'll see you later.